Hey everyone, today we are running the Strange Crystal Quest. This is part two of the Shadow Invasion Quest chain. You have to have completed the Shadow Communication Quest to run this one, so check out my previous video on that quest. We're in Arwick, in Isindul's villa. I don't know whose villa this is, but we're going to speak with Isindul, who will give you a message from Isindul to Asheron, and then we're going to head back to the Shadows dungeon that we did part one in. Once you're back at the skull, just head inside and go in the dungeon. And we get to run down the spine, the shadow spine. Once you get to the bottom, we're going to clear uh, a path again. I gotta pull out my shadow slayer. My drum. My drum that slays shadows. Once you can get through. We're going to go to the west this time. Last time we went to the right. This time we're going to the left. We're just going to kill the voids along the way. We're going to basically just hug left in this dungeon this time to get where we want to go. I have to kill, I think, three voids. Now from here, we're gonna continue to hug left. And uh, yeah, so here's the third void that we have to kill. And let me not die. That would be embarrassing. Oh, my blasts aren't hitting stuff. It's kind of weird to me that Void Magic does a lot of damage against Shadows who are, like, the embodiment of Void Magic. Like, they created it. I feel like it should be weak against them. Not that I'm asking for any changes. Alright, and then destroy that last Void and you will come to a Strange Crystal, which you're just going to use and you will get a piece of the crystal. Strange purple crystal from the shadows. So it's at this point where you will have to once again make a choice to either be the good guy and bring this crystal and the message to Asheron or to bring it to Moran and war in the shadows, I think, I guess, is what you would be doing. I already ran this quest um, on my alternate character and gave it to Asheron. But one thing to note is you don't give it to Ashron, you give it to the Emissary of Ashron that's next to him, who uh, handles that interaction now. That gives you the Illuminating the Shadows title, and I am going to, on Phoenix, embrace the darkness and give it to Moran. So in that case, we're going to head further into the Shadows, uh, where we went for the Shadow Communication Quest, so now we can just continue our way around. I think. I hope this connects. We didn't go this way last time. Kind of looks like uh, a pit of fire. I bet we can make this jump. I don't like that. We can't. Well, we can do that. All right, and that brings you directly to Moran, which is really nice. We will just hand over the, I think, the message. Yeah, the message. And it doesn't know what to do with the crystal, which is interesting. But anyway, you get 30,000 luminance, 350 million experience, and a 4 to 5 mana forge key. And for giving it to Loran, you get the title of Undercover of Darkness. 
And that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.